Uh, I didn't see you there. Hey, it's Bay. For a while, I've only had a 40 ounce hydro flask, which was pretty cumbersome to lug around, especially if I was going to leave the house only for a couple of hours. That's why I decided on investing in a smaller water bottle, a $50 one. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Purest Mover 18 ounce water bottle. It's a water bottle, but you know, you can also fill this thing up with coffee, tea, and, and stuff. I mainly wanted a smaller water bottle that could fit on a cup holder or that pocket on the side of your backpack. I've always kept this thought in the back of my head, but something clicked when I was watching a YouTube video. I forgot which one it was, but they were talking about travel accessories or EDC accessories, I don't really remember. Anyways, that video mentioned this water bottle and I was hooked. The feature that caught my attention was the frosted glass interior. That means that the bottle wouldn't influence the taste of the water or any other beverage you kept inside. This was a huge selling point for me. Still, 50 bucks is 50 bucks though. At least I got free shipping, I guess. I absolutely love the minimalist design. The mover looks smooth, but there's some kind of texture to give it some grip. There's no branding other than the purest logo towards the bottom. It looks really sleek and it looks good sitting on a table or in your hands. If I were to summarize my favorite part about this water bottle in two words, it would be no coasters. I live in a very humid environment, so coasters are necessary if you want to protect your furniture. Since this bottle is double wall vacuum insulated, no condensation happens. That basically means that this thing keeps hot things hot and cold things cold for a long period of time, by the way. So I think this will annoy some people. Hold up. Let me take a water break really quick. <sighs> yeah, this particular top makes a funny noise, whistle you can even call it, when you take sips. It's not too loud, but it's kind of awkward if you drink somewhere where you need to be quiet. There are a couple of other tops that you can choose from besides this one, so problem solved. What I appreciate the most about having this water bottle around is that I've actually been drinking more water. Sometimes I'm like, man, this water bottle is fancy looking. And then I remember to take a sip. I also like to remind myself that I spent $50 on this water bottle, so I have to use it no matter what. And I am. I've been using it every single day ever since I got this thing, and I'm loving it so far. It's just so convenient to carry around. I do like to drink a lot of water at a time, so I do have to refill quite often. Okay, so the big question. Was it worth it? I mean, if you have the money for it, then sure, go ahead and purchase this water bottle. However, there are a lot more cheaper options out there that do the same thing, and it does feel a little overpriced. But I do like the aesthetic and the design of this particular water bottle. <laughs> I still can't believe that I made a video on a water bottle. Who am I kidding? I made a video on fidget spinners before. I can't believe you're still here watching. You know, I really appreciate you. If you appreciate me too, please leave a like. That's all you have to do, and it literally takes a second. Maybe even subscribe while you're at it? You did it awesome, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!